Hi, my name is Ben Hedges and I'm a SharePoint developer and instructor for Point8020. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create, edit and use a SharePoint 2010 site definition. I will use SharePoint Designer and Visual Studio 2010 to show how the tools complement each other when customising a SharePoint site. I will create a SharePoint site template for a recruitment site. It will contain a document library called Resumes that allows for candidate applications to be uploaded and tagged with a yes no interview flag. This will indicate whether the candidate who submitted the resume has been interviewed. The site definition will also contain a web part that can be added to a page to report on the percentage of resumes that have resulted in an interview. For the first step in this process I will create a new site based on a blank site template. I will use this as a starting point for my custom recruitment solution. I've created a blank site and then chosen to edit it in SharePoint Designer. In SharePoint Designer, I will create a document library for resumes. And I'll add a column called Interviewed. I will then save the site as a template. This saves the site back to the SharePoint Solutions Gallery. In SharePoint, I will review the Solutions Gallery. I can see the solution that I saved as a template from SharePoint Designer. I can now click the file and save the resulting WSP file to my hard disk. I will now extend the customization further using Visual Studio. I will create a Visual Studio project using Visual Basic and in the template I will choose Import SharePoint Solution Package. I will pick Deploy as a Sandbox Solution and then I will browse to the WSP package that I downloaded from the Solutions Gallery. I can use the checkboxes to select the items that I want to import. In this example I will select all items. You can see all of the site content is being imported and then when the import finishes the Solution Explorer window opens with the site contents displayed. I will supplement the changes I have already made in SharePoint Designer by adding a web part. I will add a web part that queries the resumes folder and counts the number of resumes that have the interviewed flag set to true and those set to false and then displays this as a percentage. The code uses an SP query object called Interviewed Query and specifies a collaborative application markup language or CAMEL query for that object that filters based on the interviewed column having the value of 1. The variable interviewed yes is set to the count of items returned from the query. The interviewed query object is then recreated to clear it as reusing the same SP query object for a subsequent query is not supported. The second camel query is very similar to the first, but this time I will look for the value 0 in the interviewed column and count the number of items that have not resulted in an interview. The last section of code creates a literal control and displays the results returned as a percentage. Following the changes to the web parts, I will make a couple of edits to the elements.xml. I will change the name of the web parts and the category that it will appear in. I will save the solution in Visual Studio as a package. This creates a new WSP package. I will upload the customized WSP package back to the SharePoint site. First I will delete the solution that is already here. This is the solution that I saved from SharePoint Designer. So to remove any confusion about the site that I am going to upload, I will remove that. Now I will upload the WSP file that I packaged from Visual Studio. and I will activate that. 
The final step is to test and deploy the solution. I will create a new site based on my new site definition. And now in that site I will add the applicant's resumes. As I upload them, I will also specify whether the individual has been interviewed. With that data in place, I will now edit a page and add the web part that was included with this site definition.